everyone, welcome back to Raising Wellness. You have been joining us on this juice cleanse video series for nine days now. This is the end of your cleanse. If you've been following along with me, it's the end of my cleanse. And today is the first day that I'm going to be eating food again. And it's really important for people to understand what kind of food to eat when you come off a cleanse. Your digestive system is very delicate, so you wanna give it what it needs, how much it needs, and what consistency it needs so that your digestion is healthy and fluid and fine and you're not going to have any digestive upset or um, anything that's going to make you feel bad because you just did this amazing cleanse and you want to keep the good feelings going, right? You want to feel energetic, you want to feel vibrant, you want to feel confident, you want to feel healthy, healthy. you want to feel cleansed. So it's really important to be concerned with what you're eating in your body all the time, but especially after a cleanse because it is very delicate and you need to treat it like a little flower. So I'm gonna run you through what I did today or what I'm going to do today. I had to prepare it all so that I could take it with me because I'm actually traveling. So I'm putting it all into jars so I can take it with me. So you can do this when you're traveling, you can do this when you're in college, you can do this anywhere. It's possible to eat healthy, but make sure that you especially do it after a cleanse. So what I did, as you can see in this video, First, what I'm doing is I am cutting a lemon. So I'm gonna be making a concoction with lemon and this cayenne pepper that you see me holding. And I just squeeze it into a mason jar, both halves of the lemon. You can do more if you want or less, whatever floats your boat. And then cayenne pepper to taste. This is kind of like a master cleanse like it did yesterday. And then I added in some hot water. And next, what I'm doing is I'm cracking open this beautiful, local organic watermelon. There's surprise inside, guys. This is the tastiest watermelon ever. It's amazing how much your taste buds change after you're doing a juice cleanse. You start to realize all the little intricacies in the fruits and veggies. And this is a yellow watermelon. It's so exciting. I love yellow watermelons. They smell so good. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Eat a little bite of this because it is so good. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's my excited face. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I am spooning all this out. I'm gonna do one half into my blender and then blend it up. And then I'll do the other half afterwards. So I added no water into this. It's purely watermelon juice. And I'm gonna start this with my lemon cayenne mixture in the morning. So the most water dense fruits and veggies should go in the morning because they digest the fastest. And I'm smushing all this up into a smoothie because my stomach has been digesting just juice for the past seven days. So I wanna give it something that still has some of that insoluble fiber, but is in a liquid form so that it's easy to digest. And there's both halves of the watermelon fit nicely into these two mason jars so I can take it while I'm traveling. And next I'm gonna make a soup. So it's with lemon and garlic and then two stalks of celery and a big cucumber and a small cucumber. So what I'm gonna do is put this into my blender and I'm just gonna squeeze the lemon in there. It's nice and juicy. And lemon is just amazing, it's super alkaline. It's going to help your system just to stay alkaline and stay digesting properly and just to keep your pH in balance. And next I'm gonna add in my celery filled with so many beautiful minerals, great for your skin, amazing for your digestive system and to help heal your gut. So I'm gonna throw all that in there and then I'm gonna add some water in there, I added 16 ounces of water and I'm going to blend all of this up before I put my cucumber in so that all those leafy greens can get as mashed as possible. I just have a Ninja, so it doesn't do as well as a Vitamix would, but if you do the leafy greens first and then add in the rest of your ingredients, it usually um, blends pretty well together. So now I'm adding in the cucumbers, gonna give it a little bit of extra water in there, and then some Himalayan salts, a little bit more cayenne, just to further stimulate the digestive system, wake it up, and then some black pepper for flavor. 
I'm just gonna shake all those guys in there. You can do however much you want. Um, this was just to my own preference, so mix and match you guys, play around, get creative in the kitchen. And then just gonna blend it up from there. And like I said, I'm taking all this traveling, so I'm just putting it in my mason jars so that it's easy for storage and easy to grab and go. And this is my beautifulness. Like I said, if you have a Vitamix, it'll come to a much more smooth consistency, but I'm working with what I got, and it came out perfectly fine and delicious. And there you go. There's my two watermelons in the back for breakfast, and then my cucumber in the middle for a lunch, and that's everything together. My tea, my watermelon, my cucumber, and then my superfoods blend. And here's just a little um, clip of what I look like after my cleanse. I had a lot less bloating on my stomach, and that's because I was doing purely liquids. So a lot less bloating there. Still feeling strong, a little bit, um, less muscle held than I was hoping, so I'm really excited to get back into my workouts. And there's my skin! Boom! That's what I did, guys. That's what my um, post-cleanse meal is looking like. It's all mostly all liquids, and then I'm going to do some kind of salad at night when we get to Orlando. That's where we're driving to. So I'm going to do some sort of salad at night. That's going to be my first um, meal that's actually solid. So eat slowly, chew as much as you possibly can, just as you ease your digestive tract back into digesting food for you and pulling nutrients, vitamins, and minerals from the food for you. So if you guys have any questions, if you followed along on this journey, if you have any opinions or anything, I would love to hear from you guys down below. I hope you got a lot of content from this series. I know I dished out a lot. And share it with friends if you have anyone that's about to embark on a juice cleanse. This is all information that would benefit them, benefit you, benefit family or friends. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And I will see you guys next time.